on January 24th. 2022, a Walmart employee notified officers of a woman that had stolen Legos worth nearly $300 in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. An officer happened to spot the woman's vehicle and conducted a traffic stop. The woman was identified as 20-year-old Mariah Davis. Recording. Hey, I'm Officer Johnson. Hey, do you get your license and insurance on you? So the reason we stopped you is today because Walmart called and they're, did you suspect of possibly ringing up some items? Mark. Huh? You said they have ringing items? Yeah. Mark. Yeah. Huh? So yeah, I bought items. You bought items? Yeah. Okay. So you remember Native American tribe? Okay, just hang tight for me, all right? I'm hanging out with him. Okay. Hello. Hi. Is there anyone else in the car? No. Okay. So, what were you doing at Walmart? Just now? Yeah. Buying stuff. Okay. Because we're going to call it, you stole Legos earlier. Did he get your ID? Yeah, he got it. Okay. You ever been arrested before? Yeah. For what? What all did you buy? Okay. Were you at Walmart earlier? Yeah, I came to Walmart, but I came to left. This one? Yeah, I went to that one and seven first. What are you looking for? I I just like with it for Walmart. So usually have stuff. Did you buy anything earlier? Where were you headed to after you just left Walmart? To get food. To get food? Yeah. Oh, okay. Where at? Were you going to get on the turnpike? Or did you just stop here? No, I just stopped here. I didn't know where to stop. Oh, okay. We can turn around. You have a receipt for the stuff you bought? During the traffic stop, the officer noticed the Lego sets in the back seat, along with what appeared to be an explosive device. Will you roll down your back window for me? Thank you. What is all that? All right, go ahead and hop out real quick. back here and stand by the back side of the car. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, you're gonna be detained right now, okay? Do you have anything illegal in the car? Some Xanax bars. You're not prescribed? No. Okay. You have any guns in the car? No. Any other drugs? I don't think so. Okay. Bro. Yeah, go ahead and secure her. Explain to me what that device is in the back of your car that looks like a bomb. Uh, I didn't, my boyfriend made that. Okay, sit tight. What? There's a fucking bomb in the back of that car. Like, a bunch of fireworks strapped together with, like, metal and shit and wrapped around. Oh, okay. 
And can you start a supervisor out here? It looks like there's some sort of explosive device in the back of the car that someone has built. It's got like four big ass fireworks and there's like big old screws and shit all within that. And then it's wrapped, got like a bunch of stuff wrapped around it. I mean, I don't think it's gonna go off. How big is it? It's sketchy, it's like this big. It's definitely made to cause some damage yeah. when it goes off. Yeah. God, yeah, if she would have somehow like leaned back there and lit that thing, it would have been really bad. Yeah. Yeah, until we'll keep somebody them. else gets here. Yeah. Did you say an explosive device? Yeah, yeah it's like <laughs> a bunch of it looks like TNT and then it's got big old metal like uh, screws and like nuts and bolts and then it's got a bunch of stuff wrapped around it. What did she say it was? She said she her said boyfriend it built it. Oh. And then there's a bunch of fireworks next to it. Alright. I'll keep this light blocked. All right. Kinda, she was quiet, but I couldn't, I couldn't see in the back window because the tent's so dark. Yeah. And I said, "Roll it down," and then I was like, "What the fuck is that?" Back seat. She just, all she said is that uh, her boyfriend made it. Um, so we probably want to figure out who boyfriend is. And uh, if there's any more in his house, maybe. All right, I'm going to read something to you real quick, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have them present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish one. If you decide to make a statement, you may stop at any time. Do you understand each of these rights that I've explained to you? Okay, are you willing to talk to us? Okay. So, what, what's the deal in the back of your car? You said your boyfriend built it? Mm -hmm. I honestly have no... I don't know nothing about fireworks except uh -huh. for fireworks. I mean, okay. What's your boyfriend's name? Zane. Zane? Yeah. What's his last name? Bennett. B-E-N-N-E-T-T. -T. Okay. When did he make that? Or... Like, um... Okay, do you know why he made it or anything? She called her boyfriend, who arrived on foot, and then asked if he could take possession of the vehicle if Mariah was going to be detained. Her boyfriend was identified as 20-year-old Zane Bennett. She was stealing stuff from Walmart and okay. took off and got stopped right there. She's about top on the turnpike, it looked like. What's up, bud? What's your name? Zane okay, Zane, come over here and hang out for a second. Sir. Do you have any ID on you? Uh, my girlfriend had it on her. Okay. Uh, I, mean, I have a picture of my ID. Zane? Yes. Right. I have a picture of my ID. No, let's go back to Where'd you come from? Uh, I just came around, came walk, car wash, my friend had brought me up here. Where'd your friend go? Uh, he's still parked at the car wash. Which vehicle? Hey, so you're huh? not in arrest mode, but I'm going to detain you real quick because we got some things we got to talk about. Okay. Which vehicle? Uh, the truck over there, like. The dark Dodge with no front bumper? you want to mess with it, but the truck that just dropped him off is that dark Dodge. I don't know if we want to have somebody go make contact with them. It's his friend. Zane admitted to building the explosive device in a hotel room, using fireworks and leaving in his vehicle his girlfriend was driving. Okay. 
So, man, I'll, I'll just, I'll just cut to the chase, and I'll tell you why we have like all this shut down and everything. Right. Is, is it, it has to do with the little device you've made? It looks like some fireworks tied together, some nolts and buds to it. And so, so that's why we have this all shut down because it's kind of our protocol is, is it, it looks right. like an explosive device. Right. Whole, you know, it's a, so. Do you? Is it like active? Is it like volatile to where if it falls, breaks? Is it going to go off? It's, it's literally just fireworks. Like, like if you take it apart, it's a bunch of little fireworks like, that are tied like in tape. Well, I mean, like, like okay, so it's like a stick. Yeah. So, so, it, so like, Zane claimed he was going to blow up watermelons and did not intend to hurt anyone. So yeah, he he said he's just out doing. He was going to do some redneck stuff today, and he was going to take it out and blow up some watermelons with it. He said it's a couple of fireworks tied together. You have to light it like a normal firework. And he said, I just wanted to see what the stuff I taped to it on the outside would do if I lit it by a watermelon. All the screws and everything. Yeah, I said, I said, were you trying to use it as a weapon? Were you going to, you know, go do anything today? He goes, no, I was just going to blow up some watermelons. And I said, okay. And he goes, that's why I left it in the car, because we were going to go, and then we didn't go. So I was like, all right, cool. So he doesn't even seem really ner nervous at all about it. How's it going, bud? All right, how's it going? Good, how are you? Can you stop the truck for me? Yep. Hey man, how do you know that guy, Zane? Oh, I just met, he asked me for a ride, said he need to come get his car. From where? From up at the Canterbury. Okay, you've never met him before? Yeah, I've met him. You just know I'm through the Canterbury? Sir? You know I'm through the Canterbury? Yes, sir. You stay up there? No, I don't stay there. Okay, you were just over there and he needed a ride? Yes, sir. Okay, do you have ID on you? All right, just sit tight for a second. We'll we'll get you out of here in a second, but we're trying to figure out what's going on with his car. What happened? There's some weird stuff in there, so we got to figure that out. And we just, if you're good to go, you can get out of here. Okay. But since you dropped him off and he's directly related to all this, we just want to figure out who you are and if there's anything going on. Oh, okay. No affirmative. He's good. All right, you're good to go. At 7.30 p.m., the Tulsa Police Department's bomb squad rendered the explosive device safe. After police took an x-ray of the device, it showed Zane used fireworks, fish hooks, metal screws, and rivets. I could just take those with me and bring them back to Walmart later, can I? Yeah, or... take them with you. You okay. can drop them off later. Okay. The 24 hours, they'll be there. <laughs> That's true. Zane was ultimately charged with illegally manufacturing an explosive device, and Mariah was charged with petty larceny. Do you enjoy our content and want to see more? Join the Code Blue Cam Patreon for early access to ad-free videos, exclusive content not published on YouTube, behind the scenes, and much more. By joining, it will help with the production, sustainability, and long-term viability of Code Blue Cam. See the link in the description for more information. We are truly thankful for all your support.